What's up guys? I just made it out to St. Louis. You see I'm see I got this hoodie on. Thank God it's insulated. I did not know St. Louis got cold at all. But I wanted to just come back again and follow up with the video I had earlier. I honestly don't think I was my full self when I made that. Because to be honest, like something I've learned about myself too is I don't actually like talking very loud around other people when I'm in an open space. See, kind of like nobody is around me. That's when I offer you guys the best value and content. So what I was saying earlier was that you have to be a risk taker. Like there's so much stuff that is out here to grab. I mean, if this was one of those things where, you know, there's not much abundance, there's not luck, there's not much that life offers you. If you ever feel like that, I have to tell you that you're wrong. There's some, there's something out here for every single person that wants it. Like, if there was not enough, there would not be an abundance of successful, highly motivated, effective, rich, wealthy people. We only know some of the rich and wealthy from name by the NFL, the NBA, music, arts, entertainment. But there's a lot more people in business, entrepreneurship, motivational speaking that we don't even know of that are living the great lives as millionaires, billionaires. Hell, honestly, most people would be good with $500,000 or $100,000 a year. That may be success to you. What I'm saying earlier in this last video, though, is that people that you're looking at, you have to take risks. You have to make yourself different from everybody else. Not everybody's Oprah. Not everybody's Tom Brady. Not everybody is, you know, Grant Cardone. Not everybody's Gary Vaynerchuk. Not everybody are these people that are successful. But I guarantee you every single person that's on there took some form of a calculated risk in order for them to be successful. If you're not willing to put that into your into your work, if you're not if you're too scared, if you feel like you're going to fail, if you don't try, you already failed. You don't know what you're capable of until you fall flat on your face, because that's when you know you're either going to pick up, continue, not quit on what you were doing, or you're going to just quit completely and you feel like this is not for you. You'll learn more about yourself when you try and fail than when you don't try at all. You have to take some sort of jump. You have to take some sort of a leap. You have to take some sort of step in your life in order to get to the next level that you want to get to. I know you want to get there. Who doesn't? Nobody sits at home and says, I hope I don't get a job. I hope I, you know, never have to worry about money by not doing anything. I hope I can just sit here and make money in my house. No, you can't. Nobody, you, you don't make 100,000, 200,000, a million, two million, one billion, two billion by just sitting on your couch doing nothing, not talking, not making connections with anybody, scared of what life has to offer you because one, you feel like you're not going to be able to succeed or two, just because you're scared of life in general. <laughs> Sorry to tell you, but your life has an expiration date. So every single day that you're not taking the steps and taking risk and taking, you know, no's and trying to make connections with people that tell you yes or no to let you know if you failed or not. Every day that you don't try anything at all, you fail worse and harder on your ass than you ever will a day in your life. The only reason is because you're wasting time. Time is something you don't get back. It's not a renewable energy source. Once you lose it, it's gone. If you don't do something today or you don't do something tomorrow or day three, four, five comes around and by day five, you could have been starting something phenomenal. You could have had something on a plate that people loved and enjoyed, but you'll never know that unless you try. Take a chance, take a risk, jump, leap, try to fly, try to open whatever wings that you have. I promise you, when you try, when you do something new that's not comfortable, you do kind of get into a shell a bit. But after the first 10 or 15, 20 minutes of you trying and going through the process of trying something new, you get excited. Who was ever scared to try? Who was ever scared to go on a roller coaster? Who was ever scared 
to fly on a plane the first time? Who was scared to drive? Who was scared to live out of their to go out of their mom and dad's house and live on their own and start paying rent and bills by themselves, getting their own job? Who was scared to go away from home for college? Check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark. You were scared of some of those things, but you've done them. You went on a roller coaster, maybe some of you haven't. You've been on a plane, you've left school, you're paying rent now. You've already done something that you were going to be uncomfortable with. Why not do something that is going to put your life in the best possible hands? Have faith, take risk, jump. It's okay to fail because everybody that you know that has failed has gotten up. I just thought of another person, Will Smith. Failed plenty of times. You know the story about Michael Jordan. You know the story about Bill Gates. You know the story about Steve Jobs. The guy that owns Amazon. Look look at the picture of 19 look at the picture of where Amazon's corporate office was in 1999. Do Amazon right now as a search and you tell me the difference of what you see then and now. What would he have been if he didn't try? All I want you to do is just take a risk and take a chance on yourself. Have faith. I believe in you and I know you can, but you have to be the one that believes in yourself and take the first step. Just go. Just go.